this is the LA lifestyle. <laughs> Going to like hipster cafes and drinking coffee out of glass bottles. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, it's been a while. I like keep looking at my teeth because I got a lot tanner. That's not a word I think. A lot more tan when I went on vacation and now my teeth are just like popping. So usually, like most people, I will wake up and check my phone, but I told myself to try a new experiment where I, I said that really weird, experiment, where I um, actually not check my phone first thing in the morning, but rather take the time to read and meditate and just focus on the things that are kind of helping me to get into the right headspace instead of just throwing myself into social media and all that stuff even though I like social media and connecting with other people I think it's important to take time and connect with yourself first before you can go out there in the world you gotta connect with your with your inner self and kind of straighten up your mind that's why I'm gonna be making this into a habit and see what happens I'm just drinking my coffee and my lemon water and I just I picked up this book, it's called Mind Hacking. I'm pretty sure you heard about it. If not, it basically just talks about ways how to program your mind like a computer and I thought it would be really interesting. I have read a few things in the past about establishing habits, so some of, some of it in the book I find a little repetitive because of the things that I've read before but I would still recommend it if you have never read a book about habits or how our mind works. So I do have bookmarks, but sometimes I'm reading multiple books at one time and I don't know where they go. <laughs> so I use post-its. Let me know in the comments below if you guys use post-its as bookmarks. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I do live a quite minimalistic life. Yeah. <laughs> so I do have a journal, so I love to write anything and anything in here. I like to do morning pages, I like to write down ideas, and then things I have to do. I just have all kinds of stuff in here, and when I feel like I'm learning something important or I have a realization about something, then I just like to write it down because I can go back and track the progress that I've made, the things that I've learned, and remind myself sometimes if I get sidetracked or I feel like I'm lost. I'm about to head out and shoot with Raul. I'm just wearing a white crop top. Pants that I got from Hollister and they're like a little distressed down here or whatever you want to call it, but they're like a vintage style because they have these like buttons. That's probably him texting me asking me where I am. But yeah, I'm excited to shoot because I haven't shot in a while since I went on vacation. So it's good to get back and I'm in front of my bathroom so I don't know why the toilet just made this noise but yeah I'm gonna catch you guys when we get to the shoot location Like my features are not as much as my mom, but my facial structure that literally looks like my mom with freckles because she doesn't have freckles. I need to send her that picture and ask her, I'm like, wow, I look like you in this. Yeah. Wait, go back to the other one. The one with you in the camera? No, the one that I said I look like my mom. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm going to send it to my brother and see if he thinks it looks like my mom. <laughs> 